everyone. Today I will show you how to configure interface-based VLAN assignment. First we'll start with the principle of interface-based VLAN assignment. Then we will provide an example of interface-based VLAN assignment. Interface-based VLAN assignment is the simplest and most often used. It specifies interfaces for VLANs and establishes the mapping between interfaces and VLANs. Interfaces in the same VLAN can be located on the same switch or different switches. Can an interface be added to multiple VLANs? Whether an interface can be added to multiple VLANs depends on the types of links and interfaces. The switch has access and trunk links as well as access, trunk, and hybrid interfaces. As shown in the figure, an access link is the one between the switch and the host, whereas a trunk link is the one between switches. An access interface connects to a host. A trunk interface connects to a switch, and a hybrid interface connects to a host or a switch. A host can only receive and send untagged packets, whereas only tagged packets are transmitted within a switch or between switches. A hybrid interface must be configured to work in untagged mode when connecting to a host, and must be configured to work in tagged mode when connecting to a switch. An access link allows packets from only one VLAN to pass through whereas a trunk link allows packets from multiple VLANs to pass through. Therefore, only one VLAN can be specified on an access interface. One to 4,094 VLANs can be specified on a trunk interface. Only one VLAN can be specified on a hybrid interface when the hybrid interface connects to a host, and multiple VLANs can be specified on a hybrid interface when the hybrid interface connects to a switch. Now let's move to the configuration of interface-based VLAN assignments. First, let's look at the networking requirements. On an enterprise network, the access switch ACC connects to user 1 and user 2 that belong to department 1 and department 2 respectively. The aggregation switch AGG connects to server 1 and server 2 that belong to department 1 and department 2 res respectively. To ensure security of network resources, the company allows staff of each department to access only its own server. Based on the principle of VLAN communication, users of the same VLAN can communicate directly, whereas users of different VLANs cannot communicate directly. Allocate user 1 and server 1 to the same VLAN, and user 2 and server 2 to the same VLAN, so that user 1 can access only server 1 and user 2 can access only server 2. How to divide VLAN? The simplest way is to specify the interface connecting user 1 and server 1 to the same VLAN in this case 10. And to specify the interface connecting user 2 and server 2 to the same VLAN, in this case 20. Let's see the configuration roadmap. Configuration is simple. We only need to perform the following configurations on the ACC and AGG. 1. Create VLANs. 2. Configure interface types. 3. Add interfaces to VLANs. After the configuration is complete, perform the ping operation to check whether the configuration is correct. Next, I will give you a demonstration. Firstly, configure the ACC. Enter the system view. The switch is named ACC so that we can easily identify it. Then, create VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Configure GE0023 connected to user 1. An interface connected to a host can be an access interface or a hybrid interface in untagged mode. Here an access interface is used. Based on the preceding analysis, add the interface to VLAN 10. Then configure GE0024 connected to user 2 as an access interface and add it to VLAN 20. Finally, configure GE0018 on the ACC. The interface connecting switches can be a trunk interface or a hybrid interface in tagged mode. Here the interface is configured to be a trunk interface because switches need to forward packets of user 1 and user 2, so the interface is added to VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. After the ACC configuration is complete, run the display VLAN command 
to check whether interfaces are added to VLAN. According to the command output, GE0023, GE0024, and GE0018 have been added to the specified VLAN. Now I will show you how to configure the AGG. The AGG configuration is similar to the ACC configuration. Firstly, configure GE0023, connected to Server 1, as an access interface and add it to VLAN 10. Secondly, configure GE0024 connected to Server 2 as an access interface and add it to VLAN 20. Thirdly, Configure GE0018 connected to the ACC as a trunk and add it to VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. After the AGG configuration is complete, let's check the result. According to the command output, GE0023, GE0024 and GE0018 have been added to the specified VLAN. The interfaces on the ACC and AGG have been successfully added to the specified VLANs. Is the requirement met? Let's check the result. We have configured user 1 and server 1 on the same network segment and specified their addresses as 192.168.1.10/0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.